Good day, my schoolers. You're welcome to my school channel, and my name is Abiola. Remember, in this channel, we are solving the Jam CBT past question for the subject chemistry of the year 2014. Do not go anywhere, stay with us, and we will be right back. back to my school channel and in this video segment we are solving questions 16 to 30. let's start with question 16. the basicity of this is ethanoic acid is what ch3coh okay when you talk about basicity of an acid we are talking about the number of replaceable hydrogen ion so for this ethanoic acid the number of replaceable hydrogen ion is just one okay this one here Alright, so we can tell that the basicity of this acid is 1. Okay, that's why we refer to this as a monobasic acid. H2SO4 is dibasic. Okay, then we have H3PO4, that is tribasic acid. So, basicity of this acid is 1. Okay, the number of replaceable hydrogen ion. Okay, so the correct answer is option B for 1. Question 17. The color of litmus in a neutral medium is what? Okay, in an acid it is red, in a neutral medium it is purple, then in an alkaline medium it is blue. Okay, so if you look through the options provided, in acid red, neutral, purple, alkaline, that is blue. Okay, so the correct option here is option A. The color of litmus in a neutral medium is purple. Option A is the correct option. Number 18, the mathematical expression of pH is what? Okay, you can have pH equals minus log base 10, all right? Then you open up, you have your H plus, that is your hydrogen ion, or you can use hydrozonium ion, okay, which is still what we are going to use. pH equals minus log base 10, all right? Open up, then you have your H3O plus, hydrozonium ion. Or you can also have representation this way, log base 10 ph equals log base 10 okay one all over this this is your hydrozonium ion or it can be hydrogen ion one all over so once you have this one all over you won't have the minus beside it so b is very correct you just have to pay attention to these um, different expressions okay although it's the same thing it's just uh, one way or the other playing with your mind okay so just be focused so the correct option here is option b log base 10 one all over at the hydrozonium ion so option b is the correct option question 19 so we have um which of the following sorts will turn blue litmus red that is talking about an acidic property and that is telling us that that's going to be an acidic salt you know an acid salt is one that uh, the replaceable hydrogen ions they are not completely replaced okay they are partially replaced by a metallic ion okay so that tells you that there's insufficient supply of metallic ion to completely remove the hydrogen the replaceable hydrogen ion okay so that tells you that it still has acidic properties so example of such salt is sodium hydrogen tetrahydrosulfate 6 this particular salt okay what we have here is a normal salt sodium trazocarbonate 4 normal salt this is a basic salt hydroxide so the correct option here is option b for sodium hydrogen tetra ozosulfate 6 salt do not forget to utilize the link in the description below when you click it it's going to take you to the my school website there you can get the my school mobile app or download the my school software all right so join me as we tackle question 20. Zinc, we have um, this, um, zinc in solid state here plus um, copper tetrahydrosulfate of a six to give you this and this. All right, so in the reaction above, the oxidation number of the reducing agent changes from what to what, okay? At first, you have to identify the reducing agent. So what is the reducing agent from the reactant side? This, the zinc, okay? So the oxidation state of zinc here is zero. And when you work it out, it's going to be plus two here. So it changes from zero to plus two. So the correct option here will be option B is 0, 2, plus 2. Do not forget to hit that like button. Also, click on the subscribe button and always tap on bell notifications so you can get alert. Immediately, we upload the next video clips just for you. 
21. We have um, H2O plus C to give you this. This is water gas. All right. So the oxidizing agent in the reaction above is what? Okay. So you know, oxidation talks about when oxygen combines with a particular um, substance. Okay. Let me just put it that way. So um, the oxidizing agent is the one that gives out that donates the oxygen. So who actually donated oxygen from this side? You can see that this so this is the oxidizing agent donates oxygen to carbon you can say so we can say so we can say carbon has undergone oxidation oxygen combines with carbon and we have this so this is the oxidizing agent the acceptor is a reducing agent so the oxidizing agent here is h2o that is water so the oxidizing agent in the reaction above once again is found in option c h2o in the gaseous state 22 Calculate the quantity of electricity in columns required to liberate 10 grams of copper from a copper compound. Okay, so you know that the charge on copper is 2. Okay, so that is 2 times the regular, which is 96,500 times 2. Should liberate 64 grams, isn't it? Okay, one mole of copper. So therefore, how much are we looking at that will liberate 10 grams? What do we do? We cross multiply so that will be 10 times 9 6 5 100 times 2 over you can see this has come here then this goes here over 64 equals the amount we are looking for so by the time we carry out this what we should have is roughly 30 156.25 yeah, if we want to approximate we should have 30 156.3 so this is the amount that we liberate 10 grams of this. So let's go back to the screen to see if we can select the correct value. All right. So look through the options provided and you'll find the correct option in option B, 3156.3. Question 23. So we have um, how many Faraday of electricity is required to produce 0.25 mole of copper? Okay, so we are asked the quantity of Faraday, Faraday of electricity. So remember that copper, two okay divalent so that will be two faradays we produce one mole isn't it so x number of faraday we produce 0 0.25 so what do we do we cross multiply so we have two times 0 0.25 equals x times one is still x remember 0 0.25 is one over four so that is two times one over four right or I can say 25 over 100, whatever thing we want to use. So that is 2 year 1, 2 year 2 equals x. So that is 1 times 1, we have 1 over 2 equals x, or we can say x equals 0 0.5 or half, whatever value we want to use. So let's go back to the screen and see if we can find 0 0.5 or 1 over 2 in the options provided. So scan through the options with me. Where do you find that? You have it in option D. So option D is the correct option. 24. If the change in free energy of a system is minus 899, okay, so joule per mole, and the entropy change is 10 joule per mole per um, Kelvin, okay, at 25 degrees Celsius, not 50, please, 25 degrees Celsius, calculate the entropy change. Remember that free Gibbs equals entropy change minus temperature entropy. This is what I mean. Okay, this, all right. Entropy minus, okay, this. Entropy change temperature, entropy, then the free Gibbs energy. Okay, so um, from the question, remember it must be negative. This must be ne negative for spontaneous change. So from the question, we are given this as minus 899, right? Equals, we are looking for this, right? We have minus. The temperature here is given in tw as 25. It ought to be in Kelvin. That would be 25 plus 273. Okay, that gives you 298. Converting 25 degrees Celsius to Kelvin scheme, you had it to 273, and that gives us 298. So that would be 298 times the entropy change given is 10. Okay, so that implies that we have minus 899. This times this should give us 2980. You know we have minus so if it crosses over it becomes positive we can see that so let's subtract this from this okay we can use this beautiful method in its simplicity right 
So, 0 minus 9, that's not possible. So, we lift 1 from here. This becomes 10. This becomes 7. 10 minus 9, that is 1. 7 minus 9, of course, we have to lift 1 from here. That becomes 17. This becomes 8. 17 minus 9, that is 8. Isn't it? So, we have 8 minus 8, that is 0. Then we have 2. So, this is 2, 0, 8, 1. Remember the units? Joe's Pamo, all right? Whichever one I can slant it, I remove this. So, 2081. Let's see if we can find 2081 in the options provided. So, take note, we have plus, we have minus. From what we just solved using the correct formula, it should be positive. So, the correct answer is 2081. Option A is the correct option. Kindly use the link in the description below. Clicking it is going to take you to the MySchool website where you meet with our solution providers. All you need to do is to use that link, ask your questions right now, and solutions will be provided for you. So join me as we solve question 25. In an equilibrium reaction, which of the following conditions indicates that maximum yield of products will be obtained? So you are talking about equilibrium constants. Okay, we have it here, we have it here. You know, this shows um, the relationship between the concentration of products to the reactant. So once this is large or is bigger than one, okay, you are going to favor products, product side. So the correct option here is option A, equilibrium constant is very large. You may have better steps, explanations, or contributions you'd like to make. Please, we are very interested. All you need to do is to use that comment section below. Indicate that question number and the solutions or explanations or contributions you'd like to recommend. 26. In a chemical reaction, the change in concentration of a reactant with time is what? This is just telling you rate of reaction. Okay, one of the formulas you can use is um, change in concentration of reactants or product over time taken for this change. So, when you talk about concentration in relation to time, we're talking about rate of reaction. So, the correct option here is option C for rate of reaction. 27. Fluorine does not occur in free state in nature because why? It belongs, at first, it belongs first to the halogen family. No halogens are known as salt formers. They are the most reactive non-metals. Okay, so that is why um, you can't really find them in their free states. All right, you see them reacting. All right, and um, most times are salt. Okay, so um, of course belonging to the halogen family accounts for this but more importantly because of its high reactivity so this is very valid of course but i will go for this in option d so option d is the most viable option 28 so we have um, in the extraction of sodium from fused sodium chloride the anode is made of platinum because why so just take note of this anytime um, carbon graphite or platinum is being used, okay? Um, that tells you that because they are hinacts, all right? So they do not affect the product at the electrodes. They do not take place, they do not take part in the electrode reaction. So that is why you are using platinum, okay? So just take note of this. Um, chloride or chlorine is formed, yeah, chlorine properly put, is formed at the anode. Why? For sodium at the cathode. So this is correct. But the reason why we are using this, all right, is because it doesn't, um, it doesn't interfere with the product. So we can say chlorine does not react with platinum. So the correct or the most viable option here is option D because chlorine does not react with platinum. 29. In the electrolytic extraction of calcium from calcium chloride, the cathode is what? The cathode is ion, okay? And the anode is graphite, all right? So the correct option is option D for ion. Question 30. A compound that gives a brick red color to a non-luminous flame is likely to contain what? Okay, that tells you about calcium ions. Okay, when you talk about copper ions, you are looking at bluish green. When you talk about sodium ions, you are talking about persistent yellow. When you talk about potassium ions, you are talking about liliac. Some put it as violet and what have you. So, bluish green, yellow, brick red, uh, potassium ions, you are talking about liliac. Violet, what have you. So the correct option is option C for calcium ions. 
We've come to the end of this video segment, but there are more video clips to come. We believe this content has been very helpful and productive. All you need to do to be on top of your game is to hit that like button. Also, click on the subscribe button and always tap on bell notification so you can get alerts as soon as we upload the next video clips all for you.